Hi there. Now, in part B of the previous part of the question, we came up with W equaling 12A minus 5B over 13 plus 5A plus 12B over 13 multiplied by I. Now, we're given also that W equals 7 thirteenths minus 7 thirteenths I. And now we've got to find the value of A and the value of B for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget you can fast forward if you'd just like to check the final answer. Now, if we go through it slowly though, what we need to do is compare the real parts and the imaginary parts of our complex number. I can see that both of the parts here are over 13, so it must be that the tops must be equal to the 17 and the minus 7. So that's where we go with this. Okay, So I'm just going to write a note here that we equate the real and imaginary parts. Okay, Real and imaginary parts. And if we start off then with the real parts, then we've got 12a minus 5b must match up with the 17. So 12a minus 5b equals the 17. And when it comes to comparing the imaginary parts, well, 5a plus 12b must be equal to minus 7. OK, so 5a plus 12b equals minus 7. And it's just a question now of solving these two simultaneous equations. Method I'm going to use though will be to, let's say, bring up the a's to 60. Okay, so I'm going to times equation 1 by 5, and I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 12. And if we do that, then for equation 1, we're going to get 60a minus 25b equals 85. And multiplying equation 2 by 12 gives us 60a plus 144b equals minus 84. And I'll number those two equations, 3 and 4. And what we'll do is equation 4 take away equation 3. If we do that, then we're going to get the A's, 60 A's cancelling out. We've got 144B then minus minus 25B. So that's going to be 169B. And that's going to equal minus 84 minus 85. That's going to be minus 169. So that leads on to then B equaling negative 1. And if we substitute our value for B, sub it into, say, equation 1, then what have we got? We've got 12A, so 12A, and then we've got minus 5 times minus 1, so that's plus 5, equals 17. Take away 5 from both sides, you've got 12A then equals 12, and therefore A equals 1. So in summary then, therefore, A equals 1 and B equals minus 1. All right?